Hi everyone, it's Grandma Jackie. I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul for you. Happy 4th of July. Um, I'm gonna adjust this just a tiny bit. We went to a couple little Dollar Trees today in this area that we're at and I wasn't really impressed with any of them. Um, a couple of them was really messy and kind of dirty. Um, one of them was really rushing around because their boss was going to be coming in soon and they weren't stacking things appropriately but um, anyways we did find a couple of little things so I thought I would go ahead and get on here and um, do a 4th of July Dollar Tree haul. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll do the food items first so we can get them put away. I bought a little pack of the chocolate minis of six moon pies. We got those. We needed some coffee creamer, so we got some French vanilla coffee mate. This is not usually the kind I use. I usually use the international, but this works in a pinch. I did see this, and I haven't seen it there before. This is something my husband would probably eat because he eats different kinds of things. Anyways, this is cocktail sauce for um, seafood. We don't have any of this at home, I don't think. And um, I couldn't tell you what the date is because I don't have my grandma magnifying light up glass thingy. But um, I think it says May of 2021. And it's just Little River Original for the cocktail sauce. I did pick up some grill mates in McCormick's. Um, it's Southwest Chipotle. And it's supposed to make your um, hamburgers tastier and juicier. So I thought we might try this someday. Someday soon. My husband picked up um, Starkist Chicken Creations Ginger and Soy Sauce. Um, I'm not real big on soy sauce because it's too salty for me, but he did pick this up to try it. We picked up the other day some of these original beef jerkies um, in the 9 ounce packs. My husband opened one this morning and was offering me some, and by the time I was going to take the offering, he had already ate it all. So we did pick up four more of these packs. We needed a loaf of bread, and it, it feels really soft. I think I might have tried um, the Dollar Tree bread before, and we didn't have a problem with it, so... We did get a pack of this Taco Bell, Taco Supreme, Sunflower Seeds from Biggs, and it's a 3.63 ounce. So we haven't seen those before, so we thought we'd try them. And then picked up some Southern Barbecue Boiled Peanuts. So we thought we'd try that too. And then for some odd reason, I seen Cherry Pie um, filling, <laughs> so I picked it up as well. I got two cans. And then I did pick up two movies. One is called Innocent. I haven't seen this one before. And this one is called The Private Lives of Pippa Lee. I haven't seen this one either. So we thought we'd try that as well. Um, Back to food items, I forgot about these. Um, my husband picked up some Haribo Sour Streamers. Apparently, we haven't tried this kind yet, but he wanted to try it. And then I was looking for the Lorna Doom shortbread cookies in every Dollar Tree that we went to down here, and there was none. So I thought I would try these shortbread cookies. Not sure if I like them or not. Because I'd only brought one pack of the Lorna Dunes with me. And so those are already gone. Those were gone this morning. I did pick up um, another pack of the Echo Tools mask remover sponges. Just one pack. And I pick up the Sassy and Chic Eye Beauty set. And I think this is the little dermaplaning tool that's in there. I don't know if you can see that. But then this is really what I got it for because I thought I had brought one of these with me. The little eyelash separators and I can't find it. 
and I needed it this morning. I also picked up a black charcoal bath bomb. I don't believe I've hauled this before, but I have seen it hauled, and I wanted to try it. It's kind of got a perfumey scent, so I'm, I don't know if I'll like it or not, but I wanted to try it. Two of the TYs in the green box. That's all the one store had, so I went ahead and picked it up. Just to put in the grandma fun basket whenever we get home. And then I did pick up some Nature Play Purple Giant Glue Stick. That's the double size for the kids' crafty corner in the ship. I seen the Daisy push pins. I thought I had got Daisy before, but I got the hearts, which is fine. But I really wanted to get the daisies for a project I was going to be working on. So I did get those. And there are 50 in there. So I guess it's not bad for a dollar. Um, I needed a, another set of earbuds because apparently every time I go to need my set of earbuds, I don't have them. So I thought maybe I would just carry them in the vehicle with me. And this has the different sizes, you know, the different heads of it, red, white, and blue. Let's see. I picked up a little thing of baby oil because I needed this this morning as well when I got out of the shower. And I didn't bring any with me. I did pick up another um, baby toy for Lila for the Grandma Fun Basket. And it is a rattle with rings, and it's Cookie Monster. So, I don't see that stuff there very often at the Dollar Tree, but um, I did pick up a little package of washcloths. So that's something that we can have there at the house for her whenever she's there. So I can give her a bath. I picked up a little pack of a size one to seven kids, little girls fashion socks. This one has a little cloud on it, and rainbows. And then the middle one's just white. And then this one is like, it's a multicolored one. So a three pack for a dollar. And then I picked up um, a two pack of, what size is this? This is a kid's size six to eight. And these are the Essie, Essie Wear socks. This has a little, I think it's a little pug dog on it. And then the back set is pink with white hearts. Picked up, I did find the Bum Equipment socks. Um, they used to sell this kind in particular at Kmart. And since there's no Kmart's open anymore, um, I seen this being hauled the other day, and I can't remember who I was watching, but um, I was on the lookout for those after I seen them being hauled again. This is two pairs of the size one through seven for a little girl, and this is just the purple and white. And these socks are kind of thicker, so they're gonna hold up a lot better. I did find two packs for my grandson, size seven to two. And so I got him a green and a blue. Those was the only two colors they had for boys. And they didn't have a lot selection for the girls. So I did pick up an LED night light to see, kind of this would light up our bathroom a little bit without having to turn the light on. And then a vent clip of little trees for the new car scent for the van and make it smell a little better. Seems like everywhere we go, um, it smells like skunk. Like seriously. <laughs> Anyways, um, we did need uh, some AAA batteries and we found this brand of the Sunbeam and there are six batteries in here. So um, for a dollar, that's not too bad. They won't last an awful long time, but that's fine. Sorry if I'm reaching. And then I found two of the plastic crochet hooks. 
And these, gosh, I'm probably not going to be able to read them. One's a 4.5 and one I think is a 4. Um, I'm not used to that that system. I usually judge my hooks by G, you know, the alphabet. I usually use um, hook G. But those looked really close to the size, so. I did pick up five middle brushes for the craft shed. And these look like they'd be good to put on a um, Mod Podge. So that's why I got those. I haven't seen those before. I picked this up and my husband asked me if I had the tool that, that goes with it. And I said no, but I could probably use this by hand. Um, it's the refill prep and paint tool. And there's paint, clean, and sand. Let's see, you got the paint and the clean and then the sander. And I'm sure it goes on thing itself, but no, I didn't have that, but I could really use use it by hand. I picked up two more of the moisture eliminators that has the little charcoal beads in it. I use this in the bathroom um, at my house and it is working pretty good. These, this shrinks up to the top and it fills with the liquid that it draws out of the air. So that is going to be a good thing. And hold on a second. I'm going to reach, reach, reach. reach. Okay, I did pick up the pencil holder that has the suction cup on the back. I think it was um, Thrifty Tiffany that hauled it and she said about putting it in the shower and maybe putting your razor in it. I thought that that would be perfect because that my setup that I'm using right now is not working. And then I picked up four party favors of the Legos and they have the, the ones that is like the primary colors, I guess you would call it, but I didn't really care for them. And this is the first time I'd seen these in the different colors, so I picked them up. And I know that you can use them for little trinket boxes if you need to. I picked up one of this color of the pocket pot holder because I hadn't had this one yet, and I thought uh, this one might even match my kitchen. I did pick up one of these to put on my set that I had hauled the other day because I don't believe I picked this one up in particular. Um, this is the microfiber mop mop pad is for light duty mopping. I mean, I'm not going to expect too much out of it. But then I did find these, sorry, black and brown little baskets and they have lids and I hadn't seen those before so I thought that was pretty cool I'm sure this will go for organizing something and then this was I guess Halloween is is coming out in some of the stores already this was unusual and I hadn't seen it before these have little eyeballs in them and they're purple, dark purple roses, and some have glitter. But like in between, there is spiders. I thought that was pretty cool. I can use that for a Halloween decoration. And just a couple more things, and that'll be it for this video. I picked up in, in the kids' um, teaching tree section, I picked up a recycle activity kit, and it has like plastic, aluminum, compost, and paper and cardboard. And they're about this size. And I thought, you know, at home, <laughs> we have different trash cans. One for just trash, and then one for aluminum. But my granddaughter Riley likes to throw trash in the aluminum all the time. So I thought maybe if I label it too, and then make a game out of it, maybe she'll stop. And then I picked up a historical document poster, and this has the Declaration of Independence in it and the Bill of Rights, and I love this. I think I would like to have my husband make frames for them so I can put them in my front room because this color will match the wall in my front room and kind of like my front room deco anyways. 
So I think that'd be perfect. Two more things. I picked up a three pack of these button file bags. I've been organizing papers with these. And then the last item is a file organizer by Jot. And I did get the red. And it opens pretty big. So that was it for my Dollar Tree haul for today. I hope everyone is having a good um, 4th of July and everyone um, is staying safe using safety measures with all of the fireworks. Um, if you can, um, subscribe and um, give me a thumbs up. If you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell and I notify you whenever I upload a video. And um, I'll probably be back on here tomorrow with another Dollar Tree haul. So everybody stay safe and enjoy the 4th of July.